Pastor Ruben. My Lord. Full servant of the Most High. You are welcome to this junction of answers to prayer. Thank you, my Lord. You sent in four petitions. Three have been received and approved, but one have been withheld. Ah. In fact, this is the approval for the prayer you made in regard to Sister Helen childlessness. It cannot be released. My Lord, why? Sister Helen deserves this baby. She's a committed child of God, a worker in the vineyard of God. She's very patriotic and zealous for the work of God. She deserves this baby, my Lord. <laughs> I will not blame you because you cannot see beyond except it be revealed to you by the Most High. Of course, the scripture says, the secret things belong to the Lord, and the things which are revealed belong to the sons of men. Although God will do nothing except he reveal his secrets to his faithful servant, his prophet, as he did with Abraham the faithful, and that is the reason why you are here. Thank you, my Lord. I am a watchman over my flocks, and their spiritual well-being and their testimonies are my earnest desire. I can see, Pastor Ruben, you have a very good intention, unconditional love for your flocks. But some of them have a very bad and dirty mindset towards you. You are speaking mystery. Really, I don't understand you. In fact, this Sister Helen we talked about and some mother have ridiculed some pastors, including you, and accused them also wrongly. Hmm. And as a result, she cannot have it. My Lord, Sister Helene, just two days ago, told me that I should be praying for her because of this childlessness. So, I don't know why you are saying such. Watch. Talut, you are welcome. Thank you, my sister. How are the children? You are fine, no, it's only money. Ha. Money issue. It's everywhere. Mm. God will provide for us. Man, no. How is your husband? It's fine, he has gone to work. Yeah. I hope all is well. All is well, oh. I came in respect of the letter we wrote to GS concerning Pastor Ruben. Oh, 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 oh. That letter? Yes. I personally called our GS two days ago. Oh, you did? Yes, so That's concerning good. this uh, Pastor Ruben issue. Yes. In fact, you think we are a baby Christian in the Lord. Mm -hmm. You forgot we are the leaders of the church. The founders of that church. Mm -hmm. We determine who goes and who stays. Exactly. I even exactly. Brought, I even brought the letter. Okay. That's good. Mm. These are good evidence. Yes. Especially this third one. Oh. Wow. Aside closing the church late, much levy for the church building, which is making the church to reduce the numbers. Yes. Ha, so you people even included he was caught counseling a lady yes. in his office. Yes. The GS understand. Read is there the, any evidence? Read the last page. Read the last hey, page. Hey, sister. Hey, hey. A lady even confessed that he was harassed actually by yes. Pastor Ruben. Yes. Hey, hey. He has even more time to start on the ground. That, I love that. Okay. You know the church authority does not investigate much on this sexual immorality. Yes. So I don't think we are still baby Christians. We are not. Mm. 
This must be done decently and in order. Yes. Even the little little privilege we Can get as the church leaders mm. has been restricted. Yes. That is the more reason I have this strong hatred for him. Mm. Though he's my pastor, I respect yes. that. But he's too over-righteous. Yes. That is the more reason I stop paying my tithe. Even the his personal welfare. Yes. Ah. He must go. Yes. We can't. Pastor Ruth Ben must go. He must go. He must go. He must go. He must it go. Is after he knows that ah! you are the secretary of that branch, and I am the prayer warrior uh, leader, ah! woman leader for that matter. So he must go. He must go. He must go. Ah. Hey, see, he's, he's only, he's too this much. is only only character is too much. You know, he don't even know that we determine who stays and who go. Look at what we do to the other pastor that that that, that came. Where is his name? Boy, I've forgotten his name. Um, the, Pastor uh, Joshua. Yes. I call himself Pastor yes, Joshua. The way we did to that one, that is how we are going to do to Pastor Ruben. He must go. Me personally, the secretary of this of yes. this of this our uh, parish. Yes. I am going to report Pastor Ruben. Yes. Give me five. <laughs> Yes, I am responsible of her childlessness. Is it not written in the holy book? In Hebrews 13 verse 17, Obey them that have rule over you. Submit yourself, for they watch over your soul. That they will give account, that they will do it with joy. Not with grief, for it is profitable. Helen does not deserve that baby. She is a slanderer, a debtor, a fault finder. She don't deserve it. She have no profit in your ministry. Because the same holy book says in Proverbs 28, verse 13, whosoever cover his sins shall not prosper, but whoever that confess and forsake them shall have mercy. Is that not what the holy book said? <laughs> she don't deserve it. <laughs> You see, Pastor Ruben, she is the reason for her prolonged childlessness. And as I reveal to you, you have work to do on your flocks so that they can benefit from your ministry. My Lord, please, have me up on Sister Helene, please. <sighs> Jesus. Jesus, what kind of revelation is this? Ah, ah. Sister Eileen, ridiculed and also accused many pastors that have pastored her in this church. I really need to call her. And Sister Helene, God bless you. Uh, Sister Helene, I want you to be in my office tomorrow. I want to see you in my office tomorrow morning. The Lord gave me a message that I should deliver to you. Yes, it's very urgent. Please, I wouldn't want you to miss it. It's all right, it's all right. Tomorrow morning. By 10 a.m. It's all right. Yeah. Well, uh, Sister Eileen, I've forgiven you. My prayer is that God should give you another chance for you to benefit from my ministry. Because every pastor that comes to any parish or comes to any location of any church, 
that pastor came with benefits. And those benefits are for the members of the church. It's all right. Let us pray. Father, Lord, I thank you for your mercy and your loving kindness. Thank you, Lord, for your compassion. Lord, I present my sister before you. Lord, I pray that you show your daughter mercy. Amen. Forgive her and also give her a second chance. Give her another chance for her to benefit from my ministry. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus, now we pray. Amen.